this is Kennedy McMahon. Catch a new episode of Nancy Drew this Friday at 9, 8 central. Now at 10, armed and dangerous, and now under arrest inside the manhunt for the Shadow Hills Prowler. How police caught the suspected serial burglar and what we're learning about his violent past. Just grateful that, that I followed my instinct. A nationwide search for a missing three-year-old and his 16-year-old cousin ends on an Orange County beach when a woman recognizes them and alerts police. <laughs> And a tense hostage situation turns deadly in a downtown L.A. high rise as SWAT teams move in to rescue a woman being held captive now on the news at 10. Good evening, I'm Micah Ullman. And I'm Cher Calvin. We are learning new details tonight about the man believed to be the armed prowler who terrorized residents for months near Shadow Hills. That suspect was taken into custody after an intense manhunt that you saw unfold live here on KTLA. Mary Beth McDade live in Panorama City with more on the suspect's violent past and why arresting him proved so difficult. MB. Yeah, Mike and Sherry, you know, I asked authorities that question. Why was he able to evade police so many times? And they tell me it's because he knew the area well. They believe that he's been living in and around the Shadow Hills area since the summer. And they also say it's because he's a career burglar. He's not only wanted by the LAPD, he's also wanted by the L.A. County Sheriff and Burbank Police as well. We were there as 25-year-old Benjamin Renteria was finally taken into custody. He's believed to be the heavily armed and dangerous burglar who's been captured on video, terrorizing the areas of Sunland, Sun Valley, and Shadow Hills for weeks. Bring a rifle around with you, I mean, how crazy is that? That's just, you know, you want to stay away from that guy. He had evaded police numerous times while on his alleged break-in spree. Police say he's a career criminal who broke into about 15 businesses and homes over the last month alone. Is he's actually been involved in criminal activity for quite some time uh, throughout the San Fernando Valley and uh, Burbank area. Um, he's familiar with the area. He has been uh, in and out of jail uh, multiple times. But his recent crime wave came to an end after police say an off-duty officer reported the suspect firing four shots in the hills above his home around 740 last night. So we had an off-duty officer that lives in the Shadow Hills area that became aware that uh, there were shots being fired in the area of his residence. About that same time in the same area, a resident caught the suspect walking down the street, carrying a rifle and called 911. We became concerned because if he's now firing these weapons, that presents a very serious danger to the community. Because police say he was becoming increasingly dangerous, they had several units already in the area looking for him. An air unit quickly spotted him and saw him trying to seek cover off Wentworth Street, in the thick brushy area near Handsome Dam. Despite him trying to hide under a canopy of vegetation, the air unit used its infrared light to keep track of him while officers set up perimeters and SWAT and canine units got into position. The chopper then cut the lights, giving SWAT teams with their night vision goggles and canine units an advantage over the suspect. So once they were on scene and they uh, were deployed, along with our canine officers, uh, it was a much safer environment for us to operate in the dark. We watched as they methodically closed in around the suspect and took him into custody. Just